one and two, three and four. The one thing about Samba that's really exciting is that it's a hot day and it's, it's in Brazil, so it represents a lot of movement. We have taken a different version. You know, we were thinking about really expanding the horizon in ways that you, nobody could ever imagine. It's definitely going to be sexy. Even the dance is going to be sexy. I mean, they want to see a tigress come out. We're making sure... Bruno has provoked me long we enough. All, we want to over-deliver. Well, it is prom week. Yes. And you told us that you sang at your prom. What song did you sing at your prom? Ah, so corny. I played the piano and I had my prom dress on and all my little teams. And I was like, you know, Run for the Roses was our theme. It was so corny. And I just remember it was my farewell classmates as I go for the big time. They're all laughing at me like, get a real job like the rest of us. And next thing I know, I'm at the CMAs with my mom. By the way, no one knew before the announcement. And she had been quiet that whole day. Everybody was kind of quiet, dealing with her own nerves. And uh, when I walked out of the press line, the last thing I saw walking to my trailer was Dorothy's dress hanging there. And I just burst into tears because she's a friend. So I've thought of ways to reach out to her. Uh, because in this show, you do become this tribe. Night. It was a sad night. It was, you know, she it's was funny because so the, the 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 show itself on Tuesday night was amazing. Like mm -hmm. we had, you know, Josh Groban, you know, all the pro dancers. Everybody danced. We all had a really good time. And then in the last five minutes, when you realize, wait a second, somebody's going home, and we forget about that. Even though I've been a part of the show for 50 seasons now, we always forget about how that moment feels. I think we all have amnesia and we just want to forget it. Mm -hmm because we hate losing somebody. She represents the champion that we all wanted to be at that age where we all wanted to be in the Olympics. We all wanted to be or have her haircut. Remember that? We all wanted to have that haircut. And I just remember her as part of my childhood and growing up. And so to be near her, to be with her, she was always so gracious to me and everyone. Very motherly, very, very nurturing. And all of a sudden it was goodbye. It was just the weirdest thing. I showed you guys this tweet that Kirstie put out. What do you guys think? She's crazy. She's I become my mentor. Kirstie. I love Kirstie. She's become my mentor and she will text me and say, throw your hair back and just go for it. And I'm like, oh, I so want to do that. I so want to be like that. And I'm so caught up in the technical part. I have to let, there's a balance between the two and I have to remind myself, okay, I'm not a pro, I'm not a pro, but I want to be a pro. I want to do it the best of my ability. Don't laugh at me. I'm not well, laughing at no, you. I'm because, laughing with because, you. <laughs> yeah, because you're the pro, I'm the student. And I have to keep going, I'm a student, I'm a student, I'm a student, because I'm such an alpha, independent female, and I have to follow. Yeah. i tell you what I've noticed. You I don't can know, do that. I don't know if it's an impression, but uh -huh. I do. I've noticed that he, he does this a lot. And when I'm thinking, I do this a lot, a lot. This is Winona. Ready? What the hell? The lips. Come on, do the lips. Do Which the lips. one? I have several. Mm -hmm. I do this thing when we're thinking we have these habits, and Tony's always going, eesh. He's always making these sounds. You know how men make these noises? Do the lips. Oh, do the lips. Come on. There you go. <laughs> well, I, have, I have several. I don't know what you're talking about. That's the one you just did. That was it. <laughs> 